uh, one of the many foundational things we had to give up in our worldview as we started to join the reality of objectivity is the social thing. It's not even fucking religion. Don't fucking blame it on goddamn religion. Don't yeah. blame divorce on the Bible and your church. Shut the fuck up. It's not religion or the Bible or any of that shit. For having gone through divorce and, and helped many other people through their divorces, it's the social thing. You're fucking afraid of your ex and the kids and your mom and your parents and all your yeah, friends are going to yeah, social yeah, yeah. fucking shame you because you're getting a divorced. Yep. Yeah. And when you're done processing that, which takes many months, then you start to look at the bigger picture of what does the next 10 years look like? What's the relationship your parents have? The, all these people are giving you this great advice to not get divorced. What's their life like? That's, it's yeah. it's funny how much they'll wag their fucking finger in your face and tell you how to live your relationship. Just don't look around the curtain at their miserable, god awful, living dead relationship. But that's the reality of it. And you really look at like yeah. if if and what finally got us out is the next ten years are going to be like the last ten years. That was a big one. And when that finally set in, you're like, do I really want to do this to a person that I love? Do I really want to continue to abuse the hell out of you? That was it. Because I'm it a psycho fuck and I'm Stop all upside down, it. wrong functions, making your life miserable. That's what I told my ex. I'm like, I actually love and respect you. I don't want to keep doing this to you. Right. Right. That was this what doesn't, it was about. This does like after I'm a while. I'm hating like, you. I don't want to hate you. I want you to be happy. <laughs> 27 years. I don't, if you could have, if you could have got it to work, when yeah. do you finally say, okay, look, I threw 10 years. I threw 27 years. I haven't moved the needle once. Right. So what do you say we, we call And then, then on the other side, if you can get through the shame and that's, that's what it is for everybody. The personal social shame of I'm going to be at the bottom, fear of loss, that just fucking nails everybody on every subject. Fear of loss, I'm going to be the lower guy. That Yep. Now, if you're going somewhere and you're going to be a better person on the other side, it's fucking worth it. You, if you, you accept the cost if you don't, of that. If, if now is your best life and you don't see yourself having it, it's not worth it, then you're not going to fucking get through it. Because, well, i got to cash in now. This is the best I ever have. My best I ever get. People just get stuck, yeah. stuck, stuck, stuck. The decades roll on. They're miserable as hell. And either make your relationship work really great or get out and start a new one, but they get stuck in that fear. So yeah, that, that's what we see of those that are getting through it. I know I'm speaking to one person out there. <laughs> if you're in a relationship that is really bad or a marriage is really bad, what what I saw, what I've seen, what I see people go through, what I see works is get extremely conscious about it and be like, this is kind of bad and throw everything you can into bringing the, the, the issues of the relationship up to the conscious Do level. It. Um, having counselors or whoever you can talk like I didn't talk to everybody pastors I talked to fucking everybody go all in go and set a time limit. be like if if we haven't been able to move the needle on this relationship uh, to some measurable in amount year. in a year like give it a time frame and give it all out get it out of this 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 lukewarm zone and eh, I complain about it and then I go unconscious 100%. and I let the years roll by no no you got to get out of that 100% make it like okay for the next year we're going to do everything it takes to figure this out and then at the end of that next year, you got to be honest with whatever the results are. If the results show, this is how we got through our hard times. There's times where I want to get the fuck out of here. But the thing right? is, is that yes. <laughs> the, you and I have had more fights than our past marriages like times, times a thousand Completely. combined. What got us through that? The problem was at the end of the year, the needle kept moving. I'm we like, well, I, sometimes I don't want to stay in this relationship. It's miserable and horrible. and We fight all the time. It's like, yeah, but over this last year, we've grown a lot. So the, the math says, stay true to your commitment. Right. Stay stay with it. Well, I don't feel like it. I don't want it. Shut the fuck up. Yeah. It's the right thing to do if the relationship every single year is actually going. Yeah. And then you get through the other side. Like, oh, my God. I'm so glad I stuck to it. And it for us, it did, the other way. For us, it did a hockey stick. So we did set those extremely like controlled burns where it's like, okay, in a year, if this isn't getting better. And then, I don't know, was it seven years, eight years? Once it finally started going, oh, my God, this is the best thing ever. And then now I just feel like month after month, but it gets better. We got through the hardest times, but it, it was because, yes, the parts, but it was also that you and I, the second thing you're writing down here, we had, we had like, Same like the, um, the, I'm going to write these down while you're talking. Right, right. It's like the, um, the people that actually know about relationships, not us, the, the SEFEs, remember, remember Stefan Speaks? Yeah, right. Don't fucking ask us. We're FI, like we're fuck relationships up so bad. <laughs> ask Stefan Speaks. He'll tell you all this same shit, but for real, right? <laughs> right? But remember him and his buddy were talking about like, you got to have somebody who's going in the same direction. It just comes back to statistics. If you want to know, like your, your relationship is not in a void. There's 8 billion people. Everybody's the fucking same. Take an inventory of where you're at, what kind of problems you have. Find okay. others that have the same problems that are 20 years ahead and that's where it's headed. 
if you're not happy, why you're there? And, and I mean, if you're not happy and it can't be corrected, why are you remaining there? If you don't feel right in this relationship, why are you remaining there? If you know there's not a connection there, all right? Or I got to say it, you have stronger feelings for someone else. Why are you still there? Because it's never going to really work. And that in itself is toxic. So you got to understand all the layers to this to make sure you don't fall into that trap and end up in a relationship or remain in one you don't belong in. And if you are in a toxic relationship right now, it's time to go. If you've done your part, if you've addressed the issues and they're unwilling to correct it, it's time to go. I know that's easier said than done. I know you may be struggling with it. And part of your struggle may be a lack of healing that keeps you attached to this toxic individual and toxic relationship. But you've got to address it. And I'm encouraging you to take the steps necessary to move on the path you need to move on. Hi, I'm Steve Miller. I've been a trial lawyer in Florida and Massachusetts since 1985. If you and your spouse hate each other like poison and want to get out of the hellhole you call a marriage, you've come to the right place. Look, you can waste your money screwing around with some paper pusher paralegal type, give thousands of dollars to some piece of crap three-piece suit downtown, blow your brains out trying to figure out why you wasted 25 bucks on the crappy forms you bought from the illiterate boob at the courthouse, or do what I say and do it now. We know what we're doing here. Don't worry about the details. We'll take care of business and let you know when to crack open the champagne. Go to the Get the Divorce page in the upper right corner, pay up, and you're on your way to getting rid of that vermin you call a spouse. We're here to help. Divorce Easy, a Florida law firm.